starting the osmosis project. So what we want to understand um, is that osmosis, by definition, is uh, diffusion, diffusion, or passive, like non-energy uh, intensive process. And it is the movement water molecules across a semi permeable membrane. <coughs> okay, so semi permeable means some stuff can pass through and other things cannot. Um, and that is our phospholipid bilayer membrane. Um, so we want to understand, so osmosis is moving into and out of the, the cell without any ATP or energy necessary. We didn't have to heat it up. We didn't have to stir it. Um, it's just moving back and forth. So that is diffusion. Um, and it is a passive process. But other than like diffusion is kind of a generic term, osmosis is water. So the thing that is moving is water. And we really, 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 really want to remember that. Okay. So now that we're, we're solid on the water is moving, we are going to put a naked egg, so an egg that we digested off the calcium part of the shell, and we just have that phospholipid bilayer left, the membrane left. So it's a giant thing that we can see, and it's still just a single cell, which is cool. Um, because it's huge, and we'll definitely see what happens. Um, but we want to just label our parts. So this is always the solution. Um, and so the things that are dissolved inside a solution are the solutes, is what they call them. So dissolved particles. I don't know how else you would refer. So those aren't going anywhere, right? So we're not moving solutes, we're just moving water. So the rest of this um, solution is going to be water in our examples. And then there will also be absorbed things inside that cell. So in this case, it looks roughly, hopefully, like there's about the same amount of solutes inside and outside of the cell, and that is an isotonic solution. So we want to just really make it very clear that we're talking about the surrounding fluid and not the fluid inside the cell, ever. Um, they always are labeling it the solution, not um, trying to describe the amount of solutes that are inside the cell. So it's the isotonic solution, and what that means is that um, it's roughly the same. So iso means it's about the same or concurrent inside and outside of the cell, isotonic. So the concentration of solutes is also called tonicity. So that's where that tonic. Okay, so we have roughly the same amount of solutes inside and out of the cell, but I drew two little arrows showing that there's some kind of crossing between the inside and outer membrane, and they're going equally in both directions. What is moving? Yay! I was like, we're doing osmosis, so it is the water or H2O that is moving across. Nothing else can move across that membrane uh, in these examples. So we just want to make sure that we're really solid on that one. Um, if we... Yes. So um, if there's basically as many salt molecules inside or sugar molecules inside and out, um, it's going to just be at equilibrium. The water is going to flow back and forth just minimally as water, um, but it's not going in any directional way. So equilibrium cannot be solved in all scenarios because we cannot move the electrolytes or the sugars or things like that. So if we have a solution that's just 
crazy concentrated. Like if we, I'm just going to like fill it in because if we put in something like um, high fructose corn syrup, it's just all ions. There's almost no water in there at all. Is there going to be enough water inside of that cell to be able to form an equilibrium diluting the concentration of corn syrup outside? But it's going to sure darn try. So what happens is um, that the water is going to be attracted trying to make equilibrium happen, trying to dilute um, the corn syrup to have the same amount of water and it just won't happen. So what it turns into is like a jellied or a candied egg. So it sucks all the water out of it. So um, however you want to say that, it gets um, crenate, raisin-like, um, that's got an I in it, so raisin-like, um, I mean, candy, like, does anybody have, like, candied cherries ever or something like that? It's kind of like that. Um, so when we actually cut into a corn syrup-soaked egg, it, it almost looks candy because um, some of the sugar molecules might pass through, but I think most of it is all of those formed elements or um, electrolytes inside of the cytoplasm are just so condensed that it looks like it is corn syrup itself. So um, when we drink soda instead of water, then we're actually pulling water out of our cells rather than hydrating our cells. Yeah, well, okay. You're so healthy. <laughs> so when you eat a piece of fruit or something like that, it has a lot of water in them because it's made out of cells. When you're drinking a soda or something with high concentrations of sugar, you're, you're dehydrating yourself. So we just want to make sure that we understand that. But this one, um, the solution is called hypertonic. So I, I guess I should relabel hypertonic solution. Okay, we did in here? Good. Good. So then we will just post the recording and hope everybody gets it. Because the reason that I want us to understand this is so that we can go and um, make our eggs nasty. Or good. Oh, like it's going to be great. It's going to move. Okay. So then our final thing is then what? Okay. And what happens? And I've never exploded. Um, so it's hypotonic solution again um, and you have very few things out here what would a solution that is hypotonic be like what's an example in real life that we could put that egg in yay so um, distilled water is the worst um, but um, tap water has some stuff in it but the water will go inside predominantly, and it's trying to, to reach equilibrium. That is its main goal, is to reach equilibrium, um, but it's just not possible. So there's too much water out here um, that would flow into the cell, and if it, it got to the point where it's in our bodies, for sure we would probably be rupturing our cells because our cells are much smaller than that egg. Um, Okay, so then it becomes bloated and could possibly rupture. Um, and we're going to stop this video and then do our egg manipulation and then come back to other stuff.